it like I was saying so that's why I listen to myself I ain't got time motherfucker keep lying to me shit be crazy when y'all be fooled by a lot of artists A lot of people be fooled by a lot of artists. She be crazy. I just stick to the script, I, you know. Telling y'all, don't nobody make music like Boosters. You know, cold blooded how y'all be. Fans of these people and they be lying to them. You know, for, come to find out, your favorite rapper, a bitch. <laughs> your favorite rapper ain't never so dope in his motherfucking life. And got you telling you all this shit. Your favorite rapper ain't shit. That's how that shit be. I go with authentic shit. So the only shit I listen to is Boost. My other playlist. Shit, I got Riding Tupac. Tupac CD. Riding Dirty UGK. Get Rich or Die Trying. Uh, what else my other playlist? Uh, that Scarface Untouchable. What else on my playlist? R&B, of course. Uh, DMX. Dog is here. The hell is dog? Is. Both both of the DMXs. Uh, that's basically it in my playlist. A couple cash money, cash money, of course. You gotta have a classic motherfucking CD for me to ride. So, yeah. Oh, Soldier Slim too. I got, I got, I got that Soldier Slim in my shit. That years later and that uh, it's hard to maintain the Soldier Life mentality. That's the type of shit I listen to. Shit I can relate to. If I can't relate to the music. I can't under I can't I can't get into it if I can't relate to it. It's not talking things I've seen or done or grew up around. I can't relate to it like that. It's not real to me because I don't know that kind of life that they talking about. So I'm not gonna say it's not a real life. I just don't know that life, so I can't get into it. My daughter asked me that the other day. She said, "Dana, why are you always?" Listen to the same music. I just told her I just don't listen to the music you listen to, baby. That's what I told her. Most artists ain't living with they rap on. Left 50 do the biopic. 
that 50 do my move, man. <laughs> I holler at 50 already with it, bro. I mean, 50 Cent ain't the guy back at me. I told 50, bro. I'ma do this shit myself, bro. I'ma do it myself. I got a, got a, got a, got a, got a meeting in LA. About to move in a couple weeks, so. Hopefully I get it done, you know. Got a meeting in LA. We ever do my bob, my my bob is gonna win. So I, I bet you that. I already got a rope. They hated Jesus, you fucking right. Who you think killed Tupac? Orlando Anderson? Yeah, all I think Orlando them smashed him, yep. His uncle said they smashed him. Feel like Tupac just, you know, he stumped out of Crip, man. He stumped out of gangster, you know. You come back busting. You know how it go. That's just how it go, man. That's why when you stump a nigga out, you got to make sure he don't get up. You know, you got to stomp him out till his legs broke, till his face, till his teeth out. You know. You got to stomp him out bad. You got to, you know, you stomp somebody out. Yeah, I feel like, you know, Puff and none them niggas ain't had nothing to do with no Tupac. Feel like Puff just was getting money, they wouldn't sweat no Pac like that. Feel like Pac just stumped out of the crib, you know, and come back busting. That's how it go. Back to the base, shit. I'm trying to I'm trying to book the Stockton Arena right now, but they trying to text me. And shit. I'm doing my own tour. I ain't letting nobody book me on tour. I'm doing my own tour. I'm doing my own Bupak tour. Four thousand seaters are better. Five thousand seaters are better. My own Bupak tour. We didn't book like nine venues already, so. On Christmas, we're going to post the boot clock tour. We're doing our own tour. We're doing our own motherfucking tour. Only way you book a date on the tour, you got 150000 You won't be a part of the boot clock tour, and the promoter won't get on that tour. You can book the tour for, you can book a date for 150000 We ain't got number seven days left. Our promoters trying to get that couple slots for your city and book book a arena or book a venue. Only way you can book a venue, you got 150k. 100k up front, 50 on the back end. That Bupak tour, Bupak and Friends tour. It's called Bupak and Friends because every day, every tour date, I'm bringing out two different, two two different artists, two major artists with me on every tour date.